It's Reen with all of his friends. Ah, just kidding. He has lots of friends. Or humans with whom he associates. Alisa, whose stock has been rising lately. Gaius and Elliot, who are too expensive to buy. Yusus, too expensive to buy. Machius. Oh, boy. Uh, we're working on him. Laura's stock is pretty high. Fee's a little bit higher, in my opinion. Uh, Emma, skyrocket stock. Just absolutely skyrocketed. Like, forget about it. Don't even try buying. You can't afford it. Um, the B team, pretty good. Sarah, just... I mean, man, Sarah's so good. Um, the little girls who don't get... who aren't on the market. Uh, we got, a uh, Ice Queen or Princess or whatever she's called. Rufus, who's like, take me away. Villains and Bone Dragons. Milliam. Oh, boy. We're not really quite sure what we're thinking about Milliam just yet. Osborne, who's... More and more, I'm thinking I'm on his side of things. I like Osborne so far because he's not like a traditional villain. He's just... He's doing what he thinks is right the way he can. He doesn't seem to be out to hurt anybody, at least as far as I can tell. Yeah, exactly, Mungo Sano. <laughs> Hashtag Osborne did nothing wrong. Oh, boy. Oh, my. I am still yet to be on an airship. What the F? Is this, is this game incapable of putting me on an airship? Yeah, now Lord, you are just in time. We are getting started. All right, so we are just starting chapter four and we are not yet on the train or anything like that. So, what to do, what to do? You just had three games of airships. Enjoy your trains. I don't like trains. I've never liked trains. Trains are stupid. I'd check my words, but Miss Drake doesn't watch my streams anymore. All right. Yeah, Erebonia is all, like, train-happy. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't like it. He's based off of the Iron Chancellor of Germany. Who is the Iron Chancellor of Germany? Oh, these two are the, the husband and wife couple that are, have been feuding. They've been having little arguments. <laughs> Reen starts having a much more natural and affectionate conversation with an animal than he ever has with any of his friends, and they all kind of side-eye each other. Otto von Bismarck? Oh, okay. Hey, don't talk crap about trains. We British made a whole bunch of trains in Victorian times. God damn it! Thousands of Chinese people died for you to ride those trains. I wanted to thank you again for the, old, the help with the old schoolhouse. Forget about the 50 mirror I owe you, and we'll call it even. Help a brother out. We gotta decide on which horse to back in the summer races. Yeah, Ro Crow is definitely growing on me. People have been calling him Kevin 2.0, but... I guess Kevin 2.0 means Kevin with an upgrade, because Crow's a pretty sweet dude. He's a pretty sweet dude. I like him. You know what we should do is actually, maybe we should do some recipes while we can. All right, I'll give it a try. <laughs> what did you expect? Double espresso cures sleep, nightmare faint, and confuse. 
Um, yeah, I think I'll cook All right, a few I'll more give it a of try. those. <laughs> what did you expect? How many can I make? Oh, just one more. All right, we'll make one more. All right, I'll give it a try. Kevin's a good character as is, bro. <laughs> what did you expect? You just stuck to that early SE impression of Kevin for two whole games. No, I did not. I did not. My grievances against Kevin were all completely reasonable. I held on to no unreasonable annoyances with Kevin. Need more fresh herbs. You totally did. I totally did not. I did not. My grievances were legit, my friend. 100% legit. Don't tell me my own feelings. Flaky potato and assorted grains. Need flaky potatoes and assorted grains here. <laughs> I'll take 20 of those. And uh, assorted grains. Eh, maybe like 10 of those. All right, who can help me make milk porridge? Laura and Machia. All right, I'll do Let's what I try can. Try Laura. I'm proud of this one. Hell yeah! Strength and arts plus twenty five percent for five turns. Not bad. Um, and I've got the epic versions of all of those. However, oh, I can't make the shitty version. Okay, I can make the shitty version of this though. Hope this turns out okay. Something seems wrong. Can't make the shitty version of this. Uh, I can make the shitty version of this. Mm, okay. It's technically edible. Frozen soup, magic attack. It's a magic attack area with a 50% freeze because it's frozen. I think the I think the uh, the shitty foods right, are I'll way more interesting than the amazing ones. Let's never speak of this again. Brown liquid. It restores 200 EP. Wow, that's actually really good. 200 EP boost, just straight up? I mean, fuck yeah, dude. Uh... Yeah, we'll make a couple of these. Mm, okay. Better than expected. This one's my specialty. Oh, so she only made one of the wild mix, but that's okay. Wild mix is still good. All right. Let's go next door and see if we can't get some decent armor for folks. Yeah, this actually boosts strength as well. Leopard print jacket? Fuck yeah. Frilly dress. Eh. Y'all just need to do the omelet trick. This game is so horribly balanced in terms of mirror awards. There's a reason the million mirror achievement for the game on Steam is a picture of Elliot making egg soup. I don't want to... Uh, but I... I I don't know, man. Like, but it's like a, it's a sploit. I don't want a sploit. Well, we don't want a sploit. Defense, arts, arts, defense, and agility. Or evasion, rather. Oh, that could be good. I don't know why it doesn't boost strength, but whatever. Those with the green sad face can make the worst food, but less of a chance. Yeah, I figured they could. I just don't want to waste the ingredients because I don't have enough money. I'd rather do the omelet trick a few times whenever Elliot's in my party so that I'm not constantly poor for 99% of the game. 
<sighs> well, I mean, fine. Fine. Stupid omelet trick. What's the omelet trick? You guys, you, you guys can have a look at Dinky while I look up the omelet trick. All right. Um, uh, what game am I playing? Cold Steel. Trails of Cold Steel omelet. There we go. Auto populated. Go to any store that sells eggs and coarse salt, buy 99 of each. Then have Elliot make up to 99 of the simple omelet recipe. He'll mainly make his warm egg soup and soft and fluffy omelets. Sell all of them, rinse and repeat. If you don't have Elliot, you can use someone like Emma and Effort Quartz equipped, though it's not as efficient. Eggs and coarse salt and have him make these simple omelets. My turn! Okay. Well, let's turn off Dinky Cam and, uh... <laughs> All right, am I in the right place? I am in the right place. Okay, eggs and coarse salt. So, what is it? Are we talking about fresh eggs? And coarse rock salt? How come I can only take 78? Oh, because I already have 21 in my inventory. All right. So we'll do coarse rock salt and fresh eggs. And buy as many of them as the game will allow me to. You'll be happy to know Chapter 4 is one of my favorite parts of the game. Well, that's good. All right. Simple omelet. Not to cook. All of them. Hope this turns out okay. All right, here we go. Oh, this looks pretty nice. <laughs> this is my special. And now I sell these, right? Oh, it is an item. Um, warm egg soup. Okay. And what's the other thing you made like a ton of? Soft and fluffy omelet. So the return isn't huge, but it's definitely there. Fresh eggs. Coarse salt. So I made about 3,000 bucks in profit off of the effort. Hope this turns out okay. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Oh, shit. Yeah, I'm at the simple omelet, okay. Hope this turns out okay. I'm not saying doing a lot, just maybe three to four times. Oh, this... <laughs> This is what you've reduced me to. This is what I've become. I never thought this would be me. But here we are. Hope this turns out okay. I sure hope this turns out okay. Oh, this, <laughs> this is my...
This strikes me as something I could probably do off stream, you know? Right! I've got this! Did I ever buy any books from this guy? Oh yeah, I did buy all these books from this guy. Oh, what does he have to talk about anyway? Okay, never mind. Um, do, 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 do. I should give Machias the, uh, the better armor as well. He might as well have it. Okay. Um, there might be, like, I'm assuming there might be hidden quests or something around here. Machias and Ellie had become tanky? Oh, well, that's good. Oh, hey, Patrick. I have my reasons. How are you feeling after that whole ordeal? I'm fine, thanks. Might not have been here if you weren't there to make Elise safe, though. I really owe you for it. It was partly my fault that she was in danger to begin with. I, it was the very least I could do. Allow me to add that I do not intend to breathe a word of what I witnessed down there to anyone. I'd much rather settle things with you man to man, after all. Likewise. Come to think of it, you're all going to Heimdall, aren't you? I'll be attending the garden party the day after tomorrow myself. Father hasn't even mentioned it this year. Same with my dad. Hmm. I'm not interested in the guest list, with one minor exception. Will your sister be in attendance? Patrick, I think the two of us need to sit down and have a little talk. Then you can give me a nice detailed explanation of why you would ever need access to that sort of information. <laughs> wow. That got dark. Yeah, if armor and weapons drop from enemies, that would be awfully nice. I miss playing games when armor and weapons would drop from enemies. That seems to happen less and less. Hey, sad janitor. You sad, buddy? It's kind of weird when you think about it. That young lady claimed the door to the old schoolhouse was open, but you're completely sure you locked it. Did the lock have broken somehow? I'd better check up on that later. No, sad janitor. Giant... Giant suits of armor with swords the size of houses will spit you in twine, sad janitor, in twine! Chris Hansen oh, JRPG. Yes. Sloth, Sloth Hound Inc. Welcome aboard. Hey, Sloth Hound, I'm, I'm dreadfully curious. If you are able to... Uh, could you say something in the chat for me? It's a little game I'm playing called The Terminator. Nah, I'm just kidding. You're bracing? Yeah, I'm bracing too. What's nice though is that um we know it's a storm because we'll see I'll see like a million notifications in the chat, and then I know that I can just quickly turn off and then turn the overlay back on and that'll that cuts it out because we did successfully test yesterday that the bots don't just the notifications don't just start when I turn the overlay back on. My month of cleaning is almost over. Soon the credits I lost by botching the Orbital Science exam will be all mine. Did you see me wallowing in misery over here and come to hell? Whoa, is is she hitting on Elliot? Oh, these two became fast friends at some point. Oh, well, that's, that was a nice little... Oh, there. Oh yeah, that's right. Mint is in the music club. I just never see her in the music club. I never see her there. Yep, I'll be back. Be safe, and don't fret. I'm sure your flowers will bloom soon enough. Oh, 
Laura's mad that Fee has flowers. Laura's mad about Fee about everything. Aw, oh, now nah, Lord. That's a bummer, man. <laughs> I like Mint. If you bought stock in Mint early on, that was a wise purchase. I like her. How come these guys never go on field studies? Mint can never find the music club. She's getting a voice in two. They released a clip of it on Facebook. Ooh, that is exciting. Oh, hey, Dinky. Dinky's over here macking on some salad. You gonna munch on that salad, buddy? Yeah, get in there. Get in there, Dinky. Don't look at me. Eat the salad. Don't look your chops. Oh, no, no, we're climbing back on the... Okay, we're climbing back. The big, the big hairy ape that feeds me and takes care of me and cleans my cage noticed me eating the salad he prepared for me, and now I must stop. <laughs> Laura doesn't have enough personality to be mad about Fee. She just, she's just moping. She's just being a goober. Well, all right, that's fair enough. Also, fuck's sake, I'm just trying to eat. And you keep talking to me. Well, that's part, that's part of the deal, Dinky. You get to chill at my place rent-free. You get a little terrarium that's catered to every single possible of one of your many, many, many needs. You get free food forever. You get cared for. Everything catered to you exactly as you need it. And occasionally I will talk to you and you just have to pretend to, you can even not even acknowledge me, you know? You don't even have to acknowledge me. And even that's not enough. By the way, for those of you who weren't tuning in or who were tuning in, I clipped the uh, moment where he snagged the fly out of the air. Mind if I link the voice clip in chat? I do not mind. Go right ahead. If it links to furry porn, you will be timed out. The length of time you will be timed out is entirely dependent on the quality of the furry porn. You'll still be timed out, but... I shouldn't say that. People are going to take that seriously. Don't don't link furry porn in my chat, please. I would appreciate it. Thank you very much. Alright, let me, let me bring this up here. <laughs> <laughs> it's wonderful to see you all in good health. Oh, wait, that's a ton of people. I don't have time right. for this. What do I look like? I'm made of time? Wait, I've been here already. All right, I think I've kind of explored around. I've talked to a few people. We'll see if Angelica's in the, uh, in the engineering department. Yeah, she is. Hey, baby. Yeah, eh, about what I expected. So, like, March 2018? Yeah, yeah. It's gonna be a long while. I've got plenty of games to play in the meantime. I've decided that the game after this... After this is gonna be Persona 4. I've already announced that. The game after that is probably gonna be South Park, The Fractured But Whole. I'm pretty sure. All right. That's pretty much that. Uh, yeah. You must be completely blind. Also, you know, it's Cold Steel 2, so don't watch that Shep spoilers and all. Wait, what am I... You must be completely blind? Completely. What? What am I blind about? What? What, blind about what? What did I miss? Oh, Sarah. Sarah's like upstairs. Is that what you're talking about?
the fucking voice clips that Razor linked, are you? No? I I saw like a a, a girl with green hair. <laughs> Shut up, Coco. No. The the voice clip I made it about two seconds in, and it was like like a girl with green hair and like a hat, and she was saying something, and I'm like, I think that's like the that's like the flower girl. That's the girl who's part of the guarding department. And then I'm like, oh wait, there's um like, and then I'm like, oh wait, uh, okay, I don't care about her. Wait, is this not just a clump of mint? And then I sort of moused over the progress bar and it showed me like a bunch of different pictures of like people who also weren't mint. And I'm like, I don't have time for this shit. That was portentous. Wow. Wow, there's a lot of bottles. She's like a powerful alcoholic, huh? But I'm pretty sure I didn't see any spoilers, and Russell Lisu agrees with me, Coco, so I don't know what you're on about. Nope, because it just now occurred to me that I haven't been to the radio station. Never mind, it's locked. So now we're really gonna leave. Good old dinky do. Alright, what do we got going on here? There they are. Oh, wow, just a half an hour? It's no time at all. Hmm. That totally spoils that those class members don't die horribly in this game. <laughs> hey, Targill. Yeah, I had, I had a... I had a feeling that, um, the class members weren't all going to die screaming in a hail of bullets or something. Especially since the, the prologue already kind of spoiled that, uh, Sheppy's CS3 prediction. Hang on, let me... Wait, what was this? What was I saying? See, now, this is exactly like first chapter, where it's like the stakes are low and we're solving people's problems. Oh, right, right, like right. Yeah, when I was saying that the, um... That the, <laughs> that the that the inn owner is like, his kids will have died in the war and everyone's starving, so he's forced to serve his kids as, like, food and or something like that. <laughs> I still don't believe I, I, it gets that dark. The inn owner does not eat his kids. <laughs> just gonna, I'm just going to throw that out. That's my CS3 prediction, that at no point in CS3... Does the inn owner of Trista have to eat his own kids? That doesn't happen. Well, more the possessed by the devil part or whatever. Oh, did I say he was possessed by the devil? Happy. And then by the third installment of this game, we'll find out that this guy has a super dark past and he had to murder his own son because he was yeah. he was infected with the devil. And he was like, oh, yeah, right. daddy, I don't want to die, but I'm too evil to live. And he's like, <laughs> as he's stabbing. <laughs> and he's like, and I will never forget the sound of his screams. Anyway, here's some ornament for your trouble. And you're just sitting there like, I remember when fun. Okay, so... Yeah, so the the innkeeper okay, I'm I'm just saying this. The innkeeper's son does not become possessed by the devil and has to be stabbed to death by his father. It, it, that does not happen. The transformation down in the old schoolhouse? Oh, I don't remember. Is this after the Reen thing? Yes. 
Let me guess, you're headed to Heimdall this month? That's right. You'd like five tickets to Heimdall, please. Coming right up. <sighs> there is so much, like, minutia in these games that just doesn't have to be there. Like, we don't have to have the conversation with the person selling us the tickets to tell us that we're going to have fun in Heimdall. We know we're going to Heimdall. We know we're going to have fun when we get there. I don't need the ticket seller's opinion on the matter, but it's trails in the s trails in the sky of cold steel, which means everybody you talk to, you engage in like a little pleasant conversation with them. Passenger service bound for Heimdall. Now preparing on platform two. We ask that all passengers wishing to board, blah, 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 and etc. and whatever. Well, at least we won't be waiting long. There's a train to Heimdall every half hour. So we're really headed to the capital. I've been there a few times, but it's still pretty unfamiliar territory. Not to worry, I'll explain more about the city on the way over. It's a pretty big city, though. I'm not sure where to start. Oh, is Machias' dad, like, governor of Heimdall? Because that's pretty serious if he is. <laughs> Laza Flames, like, I thought I was going to get a new craft. Nope, all you got was blue balls, buddy. Blue balls. Enjoy them. He was too busy holding back. That's also true. He held back in a major way. He held back so much he choked the plot back down. He's like, get back in there, plot. Ah, not yet. There's 70 more hours to go. All right. I'm going to win every game of this stupid card game this time around. Blade, I think it's called. I'm going to win every game. Here we go. Heimdall is, among the other things, the capital of this country, which means it's the home of the reigning emperor, His Majesty Eugent Rhys Arnor III. Every, even children know that. We need useful local knowledge, not a recitation of a travel brochure. Yeah. Well, Heimdall is divided into 16 main districts. Each district is about as large as a whole town in the Empire's provinces. In all, the city's population hovers around 800,000 people. I can hardly imagine that many people on one place. It's one of the continent's largest cities, isn't it? Indeed it is. Crossbell is known for being a thriving center of trade, but its population is only around 500,000. Meanwhile, the south, Libra's capital, has about 300,000. I don't think it's quite as big as Heimdall. Really? Why? Oh, I was just wondering what kinds of tasks we may be. Well, we don't know what point our contact is, or even where we're going to be staying. Who knows? Maybe we'll end up staying in the Elliot or Machias' house. The house isn't big enough to put us all up, but Machias' dad is governor, so maybe we'll be staying in his place. Dad spends most of his time in his official residence, so I doubt anyone's going to be at our family's place. Instructor Sarah said that there's a guide of some sort waiting for us at the station, but we didn't mention who. Hmm, who's this guide going to be? Is this going to be a cameo? I can't take the historical explanation seriously with the bunny ears. Well, he's working his way towards not having those bunny ears anymore. We're getting there. All right, here we go. <laughs> go easy on me, okay? Nope. Okay, then. Let's draw. The same score means we draw again. Looks like you're up first. All right, um... Uh, yeah. Really? You're playing that now? Bolt! I didn't see that coming. I didn't see that coming. Really? You're playing that now? Bolt! Uh... <laughs> I win! S son of a bitch! This stupid... Fucking game! What the f Oh! Oh, I hate this game so much! Oh! I hate this game. I hate it so much. Come on, Laura. Then let us begin our duel. Please draw a card. We're evenly matched. Then I'll make the divine bolt. Okay. 
Divine Bolt! <laughs> well played. Okay, uh... Um... <laughs> well played. <laughs> well played. <laughs> well played. Mirror. Uh... We're evenly matched. Let. Hmm. Then I'll make the first. I admit to Yay! Well done. Luck. Luck be a lady tonight. I scared Dinky. I scared Dinky, so he jumped up onto his hammock. Sorry, Dinky, but luck be a lady tonight. I was lucky. Lucky, lucky, lucky. The best games are the ones that you win by luck. Hi, Pearl. I was lucky. All right, Machias, you're next, buddy. I'm not going to hold back. Yeah, you are. It's trails. Well, then, go ahead and draw. It looks like you're up first. All right. Uh... Okay. Um... Okay. Now you've done it. Bolt! Bolt! Mirror! <laughs> Looks like I win this time. Oh! Oh, this stupid game! God! Oh, I hate it. It's this Let the battle begin. Stupid freaking game. We draw here, right? I'm first. Take this. Okay. Nothing is different. Everything would have happened exactly the same way it would have happened anyway. I can't believe our field study dates coincide with the summer festival on Heimdall. All right, I've been here for like 10 minutes but forgot to say hi. Hello, Phoenix. Can't to see what horrors that await us. The summer festival certainly seems to have caught your attention though. Is that really that great? Oh yeah, biggest in the country. There are all kinds of exciting events, including loads of music related things. It does sound fun. I too love music related things. Hopefully you'll get a chance to etc and whatever. Who knows? The capital's pretty massive after all. It's gonna be a roll of the dice whether or not we're close enough. Is something wrong? No, it's nothing. I mean we're gonna feel study not a vacation, right? We can't let ourselves get caught up in the festival atmosphere, we'll wind up with falling marks. Elliot, do you have a little bit of a story thing going on here, buddy? Yo, does Elliot have like a little bit of a does he have a little bit of a thing here? Is a little bit of a plot, maybe? That'd be a new thing for Elliot, wouldn't it? Elliot's always been a good boy, but he's not very rich on plot. Greenbot9000 enjoys the wavelengths of this music you speak of. <laughs> the frequencies harmonize well. I enjoy human things, like music. Who doesn't? Mmm. I love food. Do you think you'll be visiting her? I might if I get the chance. After all that just happened, He's like, I don't know, maybe I'll visit her. Hmm. 
Perhaps much of this could have been avoided if I were more like you. Sad mode engage. Uh, yeah, let's talk to Bakkeus. Yeah, my sister's weirdly clingy. She keeps trying to shove her tongue down my mouth. I, I don't know what that is. Oh my god, Reen. Sometimes Reen says stuff. I see him say the thing, and it it hurts me. I, th I feel like there's a part of me that is lost forever, and I'll never have it back. Your father is probably working really hard. He'd have to be, governing a city the size of Heimdall. It's like, dude, who says that? is so robotic and strange is because his body is a life support system for whatever dark murderous energy resides within him. Maybe he's not really human. Maybe he's like, he's like host some, to some sort of like primordial lethal force, some sort of raw Lovecraftian energy that took a human form and just sort of desperately tries to interact with his environment in the hopes that it will never be, like, like, uncovered and destroyed by whatever timeless heroes have been tasked by the old gods to keep it in check. But after a while, he sort of became, like, self-aware and sentient. And, but he's not, like, fully human, so he's just sort of, he's just sort of, like, stumbling his way through life, just improvising on the spot every single human interaction he has. Reen reminds me of this one bit in Buffy where there's, like, a robot Buffy that's impersonating her, and it's talking to her friend, and you see from the robot's point of view, and it's like, Willow, gay, witch. <laughs> and that's how Reen sees Machias. Machias, gay, father is governor, likes carrots. <laughs> oh, man. I knew I liked you for some reason, Coco. <laughs> It doesn't take much, folks. It really doesn't. Man, Laura is just there, just smoldering. down, Dinky. I think my table is sagging. I think I have a level. I should probably use it. Is this a, is this a level? Nah, it's not. And next all is Heimdall, the terminus of this express line. Whoever designed this game just loves the fuck out of some trains. I like trains, too. Trains are fun to ride on, I guess, like if you're in the city or something, riding like on a subway. It'd make traversing the city interesting, but... I don't know, man. Airships are so much cooler. I guess trains are easier to animate. Like, look at how easy this is to animate. Like, there really isn't any animation at all. The trees are more animated because they're wiggling. Then again, an airship would be even easier, because there's no background, just sky. So I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just bullshitting. I'm just filling air, you know? Just words into the internet, off to the ether, forgotten as soon as they're said. I should have said, forgotten as soon as they exactly are spoken. Exactly on time. Ooh. Huh? 
Wait, what? what? Nani? You're that. Yes, I remember. You're from the Railway Military Police, if memory serves me correctly. You're Captain Claire, was it? Ah, oh, Murda! Auto hosting me. Thank you very much, Murda, or the robot looking after Murda. That's right. I'm glad you remember me. Laura, stoic, likes training, possibly gay for fee. I believe it's been about three months since we last met. So, this must be the woman the group who went to Keldic encountered. So this is an officer from the fearsome RMP? Um, since you're here, does that mean you're going to be the one assigning our tasks for this month's field study? No, I'm just here to provide a place for you to talk with the person who is. What? He should be here any moment now. Oh, here he comes. Is it going to be Osborne? Perfect timing. Nope. No Lecter? way. Not Lecter. Please not Lecter. Please not Lecter. Yeah, all right. Oh, it's his dad. Oh, all right. Dad? Huh. I've <laughs> seen him in the Imperial Chronicle before. Reen. Huh. Reen is like secretly very underwhelmed. Gaius, tall, illegal immigrant, gay for wind. Governor Regnitz, <laughs> one of the reformists' most influential voices. So this is Machias' father. <laughs> this is the first time I've met most of you, so let me introduce myself. I'm Carl Regnitz, Machias' father. Wow, he said that weird. I'm the governor of Heimdall and head of the local government. It's a pleasure to finally meet you, ladies and gentlemen of Class 7. Why are you telling me what time it is? What does it matter? How do I care? What bearing does it have on anything? Railway Military Police Command Post Briefing Room. My apologies for the location. I would have preferred to, uh, to brief you in City Hall. But I am regrettably short on time, so I'd ask the captain to lend us this room. Anyway, let's move on to confirming your assignments and lodgings. Hold on a minute. How did you, of all people, end up being the one to sort out our lodgings and tasks? That seems a little too convenient. You wouldn't mind us asking, sir. How did you wind up as our point of contact? Beep, boop, beep, boop, smurp, smurp, error, error. Ah, thank you. That swooping character shot let me get to know you much better, sir. My apologies. I probably should have explained a little bit more first. It's actually a very simple reason. I'm here because I sit on the Thoris Military Academy's Board of Directors, of course he does. You nani? First Eusis' brother, then Elisa's mother, and now Machis' father. The nepotism runs strong. What are you doing, Dinky? What are you doing, Dinky? You gonna start glass surfing, buddy? Are you gonna glass surf, Dinky? You never glass surf anymore. You gonna glass surf for the camera? Or are you just fucking around? What you doing, Dinky Do? Look at him saying hello to the kid. He does have a bit of a froggy face, doesn't he? He does have a little bit of a froggy face. What are you doing, Dink? Anything? Yeah, I was hoping he was gonna. Oh! Yeah, he's moving all over the place. I don't know what he's doing. He's probably just irritable because his tail is shedding and it itches, probably itches like crazy. All right, Tinky, you hang in there, buddy. I can assure you, the three of us didn't arrange for it to be that way. Greenbot is leaking some sort of strange substance from his eyes. Fa error, father unit, not on board of directors, initiating sadness. <laughs> if anything, I wasn't sure what to do with the Academy first off the position to me. Would I be right in assuming that there's some kind of secret reason behind the foundation of Class F and beep boop beep boop? I'm afraid that's not my place to say, but whatever the case may be, I'm the third and final member of the Board of Directors, and that's why I'm the one who's prepared your field study tasks and arranged lodging for you all. Unbelievable, yet it's all started to make sense now. Thanks for clearing that up. Anyway, back to what you were saying before. Not green. Green. As I said, I'm short on time, so I'm afraid I'll have to... Your field study will take place over three days, of which this is the first. 
As such, the third day will coincide with the start of the summer festival. Each group will be assigned half of the city to tend to a list of needs I've drawn up for you. Alcohol will not repair leak. Motor function's critical. Oh god, the sadness. Oh, the humanity. Poor Reen. Poor Reen bot 9000. So one group will take the eastern half of the city and the other group the west. By the way, at this point, if I was a Twitch partner and I had like a million sub, uh, like a million uh, emotes that I could do, one definitely would be Reen bot. It would be like Reen with like a completely blank expression, only half of his face would be robotic like a Terminator. The city's big enough that it looks like we'll be working apart, even though we're in the same place. Indeed, I'm sure you've seen for yourselves how fast Heimdall is. Both groups were to rope around the entire city, you'd have trouble getting anything done. As such, I've broken it down that enough. So that all of Group A's tasks cover the area east of Valenkir Street. Yeah, Destructoid is perfectly fine, I suppose. Robot, robot. While Group B's tasks are focused on the area west of Valenkir Street. Must be an important street. I believe Valenkir Street is the main thoroughfare that runs through the city leading to the Imperial Palace. That's the one! As soon as we leave this station, you'll see it stretching out to the north. It's a hardly a precise division, but the purpose of this field study, I'm sure, will be more sufficient. I'd like each group to take one of these envelopes. Hey, over hunter, how you doing? Oh, yes! Oh, boy. Yeah, rabbit plays 006. Yep. Hi, rabbit plays. Thanks for following. If you are human, Address and keys. This envelope looks just like the ones we usually get with our field study itinerary. What about this address and key? Group A, Alto Street, something. Group B, Vesta Street, something else. Alto Street, that's where I'm where my family lives. Really? Can't say the address brings any particular place to mind, though. I seem to remember Vesta Street being main, a main street on the west side of the city. Apparently working class. Ooh, little dig at Elliot there. Both groups will be staying in different places. Uh, okay. I like how they sneakily got out of animating him standing up by just cutting to him being already standing and playing a little sound effect. Playful? I don't know, I didn't get that feeling. At least he manages to fulfill his responsibilities and cover it somehow. Yeah, they get away with animating barely anything. You gotta cut those costs, baby. Cut those costs. Whatever the background he does, he's friendly and down to earth, but people say he's a born leader too. A friendly demeanor can just as easily be an act to sway popular sentiment. After all, there aren't many who can waltz in and borrow meeting space from the RMP. <laughs> what over, Hunter? <laughs> What's up, buddy? And out we go. Wow, they like brick, huh? Cheppy Senpai noticed me. I did notice you. Is my mic on? Is, my, is this mic on? Of course I'm noticing you. Look, you know who else is noticing you? Dinky. Look at him. He's looking right at you. Hey, how you doing? See, look at him. Look at Dinky. He's like, hello, Overhunter. I notice you too. And you too, Floofy. Thank you for joining the stream. My name is Dinky, and I ate 
a lot of my salad and a whole ton of wormies. And I've been acting all squirmy and weird because I'm shedding and my skin is falling off. You see? The size of the city never ceases to amaze me. Way too many people. It only starts to sink in that I'm in the capital after I see an horrible tram spin along. Is that what those little train vehicles are? I've never had an opportunity to ride one, but I believe they are used to ferry people around the city more easily. Yep. They are the main form of public transportation here. They all they link all 16 of the capital's main districts. There's something of an icon here. Their fare is pretty cheap too, which makes them convenient for getting around. You guys sound like tour guides. Lots of people use them so often. They buy a yearly pass. Wow. Although from what I understand, Chancellor Osborne's imperial government is also situated within. I started playing this series in Japanese when FC first came out in 2004 and every single game talked about how great the Imperial Capital is. So at nine years into the series, when I got to the scene, I actually started to get wibbly and emotional over it. It was really silly and stupid. <laughs> Those are your words, not mine. Although I can see that like after nine years of being super into a series where everyone's talking the city up, finally being able to stand inside of it must be a bit of a moment. Not to mention one of the branches most despised by the aristocracy. If the province has a railway, you can virtually guarantee they'll use an excuse to meddle in security affairs. Okay, bye. Okay, bye, bye. Yay, trams! You go from trains to trams. This game, like, whoever made this game is, like, you know those YouTube videos where you see people standing on the sides of train tracks and then a train drives by and they, like, lose their minds over it? They're like, whoa! Yeah! Whoa! This is just a train going by. Like, that guy stopped filming his YouTube video and then went to work to design Trails of Cold Steel. They seem kind of quaint. You never really see them anymore. Elliot, you're less than 20 years old. What the hell are you talking about? You've done a lot of traveling for someone your age. Although I guess when you were in a... Yep, Jaeger work takes you places. <laughs> Laura. You say Jaeger, I go... And it's like, uh-oh. Laura went scrunchy, everybody. Everybody talk about swords and training for a bit. You like training with swords? I love training with swords. Do you like training? I love training. Swimming and training and swords. Swimming and training and swords. And then Laura's like, okay. Okay. And someone's like, Sophie, were you in the Jaeger court? Me. Me. Yep. I don't like it. I don't want to talk about it. Me. <laughs> Crossbell is pretty cool, I'd live there. Though, I think I'd pick Crossbell pre-zero if I had a choice of, like, anywhere in Zamoria. Probably Remiferi or something, something decently removed from the shit, or Ored, because they have hot springs in a famous market. Man, no love for Libril, huh? I'd love to live in a Librarian town, just a little quaint little rustic place, but you still have some of modern life's amenities.
Ooh, the concert cafe at toi. Yeah, let's drop by your place, Elliot. Yeah, Elliot, let's go to your house. And Elliot's like, let's not. And like, yeah, let's go to your house, Elliot. Let's say hi to your parents. Yeah, Elliot's like, great. Yeah, thanks. That'll be wonderful. The real the reason behind Laura and Fee's beef is even stupider when you find it out. Oh good. I love things that are stupid. This guy gets a name. Wow, these guys these like random nobodies all get names. Before I advance the mission, how about I spend some time chatting some folks up? Okay. Oh, yeah, they won't let me explain. Apparently, it won't let me explore very much. This house says... Oh. Okay, fine, game. Fine. Fine. We'll do what you want to do. Look at Elliot's little house. Come on in. Rails of cold steel. Ah. And we walk in and everyone's dead and there's blood everywhere. And his father's hanging from the ceiling on meat hooks. Ah. Ah, the dark part of the game has arrived. Uh, never mind, it's nice. Never mind, everything is nice. Oh. And his sister is pretty. looks just like Elliot. Elliot, this girl who looks just like you is living in your house. Shall we call the police? Good grief. Well, hello there, young lady. Oh. And... Ooh. Ooh, that was a slow... That was a slow hug. Why is Elliot acting like he's never, like, been touched by another human being before? Craig. Older sister, you say? Actually, Elliot's the one doing the saving most of the time. Ha 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 ha. Indeed, his attentiveness has proven valuable on many occasions. I, I want to say, like, the, the real canon pairing is Reen and Laura. Because their, they, their interactions would just be like, I am very affectionate towards you, Laura. Would you accept my affections? She'd be like, I have been training on your affections for some time, and now I feel as though I am suitable to be your mate. And then Rina would be like, I think that would be absolutely delightful, although you should know it was Emma who told me to come here and say all of this. And Laura would be like, I appreciate and respect your honesty as well as your sword play. Shall we train in with our swords? And Reno will say like, yes, my eight leaves is not what it could be, but your whatever it is that you do is pretty sweet. She'd be like, it is pretty sweet. Let's train. Clang, clang, clang. Fuck, fuck, fuck. And that would be like, that's the canon relationship. Of course not. Why would I be? 
You must be Reen, Laura, Machias, and Fee. Now I can see what you meant when you wrote that you made some really interesting friends. Haha, uh -huh. yeah, I love you, Elliot. <laughs> Not teaching any piano classes today? As it so happens, I have the day off. My dad's not really the musical type. But carry a tune in a wheelbarrow. An awfully folksy saying for these city folk. Oh, yes. Martin Play YT. Hello. Now here's the thing, if I'm gonna get if I'm gonna get bots following me, I'd much prefer it this way than the other way. Like, hey, to all of you people who run those stupid bot things that are completely useless and all they do is distract and they serve absolutely no function whatsoever. Do it like that, where it's like one every 10 to 15 minutes or so. That's fine. Honestly. Also, uh, Martin Play YT, if you are in fact real, then welcome. You are, of course, absolutely welcome. I get bot stormed a lot, I don't know why. He's in the Imperial Army. Huh. Probably no way to guess by looking at me, right? I didn't exactly inherit the physique. Ha! <laughs> hey, look at you people winning on the winning on the tables and losing at the slots. Well done, everybody. Your father wouldn't happen to be Olaf Craig, would he? The Olaf Craig, decorated lieutenant general of Erebonia's armed forces? Should I know Olaf Craig? Many consider him the most formidable general of the Imperial Army. He's known more widely around as Craig the Red. He's going to start talking about his confirmed kills now? You've not met him yet? No, okay. And we've never even heard of his name. Well, that's good. At least this isn't an instance of me being an idiot. I just want to introduce you guys to how much I love Dinky. Um, this is what he's been doing. He's been sitting at the very edge of his hammock just staring at me this whole time. He almost never does this. He only, almost never just hangs out at the edge of his hammock just staring at me. Usually he's much more antisocial. It could also be because I've got a new lamp that kind of hangs over that spot. It's not a warm lamp, but it is a UVB lamp. Um, so maybe he's soaking up some UVB rays. Oh, thank you, Overhunter. Needs more Emma, I agree. I absolutely agree. Beep, beep. Little, little bitty's fallen into the cup. Thank you very much. Do you know any hotels around here, Fiona? We've got an address for where we're staying, and apparently no clue where it actually is. He needs to get that tan on, his beach body ready for the summer. Yeah, I'm still trying to figure out his lamp situation, because he's got a, uh, like, you can kind of see... Uh, I don't actually don't need to do that, I can... Man, what, what the hell did I spend all the money on Dinky Vision for? Alright, so you can kind of see, um, on the log, the, the light is a little bit more yellow, because that's the heat lamp. And then there's the UVB lamp, which is different. It's like a different kind of radiation. So um, he needs both. He needs the heat and he needs the radiation. Um, and also because the heat lamp was also UVA radiation, blah, 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 science, science, science. Aw, aren't these too sweet? Are we gonna be rooming with somebody? Isn't this where the old Bracer Guild used to be? Ah, huh, the old Bracer Guild, you say? Yo, if you... Okay, if... 
these guys had the personality for it. If you took like a bunch of high school slash college age kids and gave them like this old abandoned guild house and told them that for three days they've got it all to themselves, they'd tear that shit to pieces. You know that. I ransack your house. Although, who am I kidding? There's never anything to steal. This game doesn't put anything like chests or anything in houses. So, correct me if I'm wrong here, but outside of Legroom, are there any bracer branches left in Erebonia? Oh, the bracers like completely abandoned Erebonia? Kind of weird for them to do if that's true. I can see why they left this guild house, though. It's a piece of shit. The guild pulled out of the city over a year ago. Yeah, the guild pulled out of the city over a year ago. So not many pay attention to these buildings now. Oh, apparently there is still uh, a guild branch in Legrum there, Coco, so that answers your question. Oh yeah, that's because there was a big fire that swept through here about two years ago. They rebuilt the buildings after that, but they wound up getting shuttered when the guild left town anyway. So who knows for sure uh, whether the fire was an accident or not. Some people still think it was set by terrorists. A rumor, though. There's no proof or anything. Must have been that operation. What? Nothing. Okay. Uh, if I recall, Shep the Bracers weren't so much abandoning Erebonia as like they were kind of forced out. Two years ago, Aurora set up a group of Jaegers to blow up a bunch of branches in Erebonia to draw cash just out of the library. Yeah. And Tobri says, can one of your emotes be a guard? a garbage back with an anime face. Like, I'm assuming you mean truck. A garbage truck with an anime face drawn on it. Maybe. Everybody subscribe to my channel and tell all of your friends and tell them to subscribe too and maybe I'll get partnered one day and then I can have all these emotes. It would be great. Yeah, I remember that. Just wasn't sure how soon after that the guild just straight up pulled out. Oh, God. He meant bag but fuck phones. Yeah, I got you. No, they didn't take their crest down. Ah, uh, there's the bounty board. Memories. Someone made the beds. That's nice. He's prepared brand new beds for us and everything. That going a little far. This isn't a hotel. Why does Machias hate his dad so much? There we go. Quest time. Oh, Dinky, what are you doing, buddy? Going somewhere, Dink? Ember Armor. Or Amber Armor. Old Man's Hemming. Old Man Hemming says one of my cafe's most popular records has been shattered. Oh no! If possible, I'd like to get another record of the same song, but I need help. Visit me at the concert cafe at Toi on Alto Street. Get it? Music motif, Alto Street? I get it. I remember in the canon manga short, I think Joshua and Estelle were working out of the Legroom branch. 
journalist at the Imperial Chronicle needs assistance with a tourism piece he's preparing. For more information, speak to me at the reception of our office in Valenker Street, and I will connect you to. Sounds boring. All right. Customer visited my gelato stall yesterday. I accidentally dropped their hat. They get it back to them, but I'm not sure how. Oh my goodness. Okay. And a underground passage monster, because of course there'd be more sewers. Why wouldn't there be? My name is Noble. I run Der Himmel Hotel, which unfortunately currently is a monster lurking beneath it. You get rid of it, they hit me up. Awesome. A city size, but I'll give you a grand tour if I can. All right. To travel between the areas of the city relevant to the group's field study. To travel, either walk to the end of the area map or press the tab key. All right. Uh, all right. Certain points of the chapter that need to ride the tram to reach your destination. Okay. Never too late to introduce new new elements. Oh yes. Uh, Shadow Dark Star 15. Here's hoping you're not a bot. Alright. So this is the Whoops. Ooh, hey, it's me. Oh, right. Quests. Yeah, so this is the... This is the one not mandatory one, so we'll do this one first. That's not you, that's Reen, silly guru. I... I am silly. I'm such a dummy. It's been emasculated quite a bit. I can just see him turning into a villain like uh, Lexington in the Gargoyle show from that Future Tense episode where he became like an evil cyborg. It's a deep cut for you Gargoyles fans in the audience. Oh, yes. Unfortunately, Shepo, I bid you adieu. My friends are twisting my arm into gaming. All right, later, Mungo. Thanks for stopping by, friend. to change around the store's layout. I ended up knocking one of the shelves over by mistake, which in turn led to the record falling out and shattering. Tragically enough, it was Amber Amour. I wish my friends would twist my arm into gaming. More worried about the fact that I have an old friend stopping by this evening who really loves that song. That's why I'd like to ask you if you can find me a replacement before the end of the day. Makes sense. I assumed you searched all of the nearby record stores already. I did, but none of them had it in stock. Okay. Back to talking to Fiona, huh? Apparently, there is no task too small. But he's just sitting here playing anime garbage. Well, hey man, I don't have any games to invite you to, you know? 
Hell, pretty soon I'm going to be in two D&D &D games, but I'm fairly certain you wouldn't enjoy them. Plaza Bifrost. However, Plaza Bifrost actually has a number of partner stores all throughout the city. Okay. Wow, so they're like a Sam Goody or something like that? Why are you jealous over the fact that Elliot's sister's crazy for him? Yours wants to fuck you. Hashtag they're not blood related. Alright, so where the hell is Bifrost? Guess I'll have to explore and figure it out. Oh. Um. Oh, wait. Oh, wait a minute, where was Bifrost? It's on Valenker Street, okay. Oh no, Coco, I'm not gonna I was I was almost gonna repeat what you just said, but I'm I'm opting not to. Luffy? I'm streaming a Kaseki game that won't spoil you tomorrow. Oh! Which one? Uh. Whoops. Oh, this is where they published the Imperial Chronicle newspaper. Neat. Oh, yeah, that's one of my missions. Well, I'm not going to bother with that. Third Nightmare. What the hell is Third Nightmare? Oh, there's a bunch of stores and stuff. Ooh, a bookstore. Okay. Eh. I think so what? Oh, you're gonna do oh oh third on nightmare? Yo, I could actually watch that. I'll watch that for sure. Actually it occurs to me. Oh, yeah, he doesn't have the, uh... Oh, yeah, I can put him in the, uh, normal outfit. On his summer outfit. I think I like his summer outfit. Um... There we go. Now he's a newsie. Hear ye, hear ye, read all about it! Good stuff. Need to give her uh arts strength, arts and arts defense. Heart badge is pretty good. Any 
evasion prevents sleep and nightmare. Anything that does better? No. Okay. Nah, that doesn't work. I started a, a no NG plus game about a year and a half ago, and I've been slowly picking at it since. I'm in the last chapter now, too. Oh wow. Okay. Well, you're not. Okay. Well, you're not starting Nightmare then. Oh, start finishing Third Nightmare. I didn't. My reading comprehension isn't all that it could be. Oh, this is a general goods shop. Clint's drugstore. What have you got? Oh, of course, potions. Durr. Whole foods. No weapons. What kind of plaza is this? at all five stores, but none of them had a copy, I'm afraid. I'm afraid you might have to inquire elsewhere. However, before we resort to that, it is possible to contact the record maker and ask them to send us a copy. How long would it take? Depends on the company, but anywhere from a week to a month. Ost District? It's a very reliable secondhand store there that might have it. Okay. Okay, so we're running to a reseller. Cool. Anything else here? Oh, there's Watson's weapons and armor. speed just a little bit, but yeah, we want her dealing some damage. Um, Speed minus one, evasion minus five, but defense plus 40. Yeah, I'll wear the spikes. Eh, you'll make two. Oh, you, you, you lost power? That sucks. Welcome back, though, Floofy. I appreciate you, uh, I appreciate your dedication. I need more money. Oh wait, didn't this guy say he sold general goods? It's not general goods. Oh shoot, maybe the Whole Foods lady sells ingredients. There we go. Coarse rock, salt, fresh eggs, that's what I'm looking for. Okay. Oh, yes. Yeah. Ooh, this really? Ro robots, you're back already? <laughs> I feel 
feel like I didn't make nearly as much money that time. Maybe I did, though. Is that okay? Ooh, this looks pretty. <laughs> oh, yes. Yep, here it comes. Well, fair enough. Oh, it's just a much lower profit? Okay. Oh, wait. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I'm really not making that... Eh, well, screw it. I'm not gonna sit here all day. Learn to be happy in privation, I suppose. is equipped, so, alright. What else is there? The Orbital Factory? I guess I can make sure that everybody's orbments are all set. Mm, can't afford to open that one. I guess everybody's stuff is already all opened up. Enough. And, an, and an armor shop, but I have no money, so. Oh, hello. I did not know that. I'm not surprised to know that, but I did not know that before. Spooky spirits. Spooky, spooky skeletons. I need to see this every time, that's for sure. How's it going? Cold Steel, it's going just great. I'm getting bot stormed again, so I'm a little bummed about that. But whatever. Actually, you know what I can do is I left it on for this specific reason. I actually left this open like that, so I can actually just kill the followers. Kill the follower notifications and save. The bummer, but whatever. Yeah, I don't know. It's only when I'm playing Kaseki games, too. I don't know why. I don't know why that is. God, the, the one guy I've met yet who's nervous about the fact that, like, we just barged in here. There's kind of no reason for me to visit random people's houses. Oh, no, yeah, there is, because I can talk to people. If I talk to people, they might give me recipes for no reason. Maybe robots like trails because they identify with the main character? It's possible. It wouldn't explain why they hit me in first chapter and second chapter, though. And I forgot to turn off my notifications there. And, uh, bink. 
Oh, you know, it's better. Give me recipes or something. That guy just dumped some random knowledge on me. Hey, would you like to know how many people live here? No. I don't care. Ooh, a mama cat and a baby cat. <laughs> oh my god, you teleported. GMG's pub. Wait, is this guy's name Sam? No, it's just GMG. This is an all right person. He's still wearing the uh, the bunny ears, though. That's three cats now. Oh, what a little cutie! There have always been a lot of cats around here. Not sure why, though. Hmm. Wait a minute. What happened to Machias' head? Why he a bunny? You never noticed that he's a bunny? Right. My turn. Leave it to me. He's always been a bunny, man. You didn't know, you didn't know that? Yeah. I thought you played this game before Cold Steel, or at least watched someone play it. Surely you would have known by now that he's a bunny. Are we not using Fee? Nah, eh, we're, we're using Fee, kind of. Sort of, kind of. Yeah, Lord of the Rings JRPG, it's super weird. Yeah, is, is that like, that's just a clear reference to Samwise Gamgee? Hey, I'm trying to run a business here. Fair price, he, given how well the records managed to hold its value. We're not even using our own money, just buy it. All right, Paul, thanks for stopping by, man. Have a good stream. No, no, I'm talking about the actual Lord of the Rings game that came out on the PS2 that was straight up a JRPG. Oh, was there one? I don't know which one you're talking about. Fun fact, Trails of the Sky, second chapter, has more text than the entire Lord of the Rings trilogy of books. I believe it. I believe it. All right, well. Ooh, where does that go? Oh. Hmm. Looks like we've hit a dead end. This area seems easy to get lost in. All right. Um, back to vein cure. Lord of the Rings, the Third Age. We use the equivalent of Final Fantasy X's battle system. I like Final Fantasy X's battle system. Wait, where's this guy's pub? Maybe I'm in the wrong spot. I think I am in the wrong spot. Is it an Alto? 
Yeah, it was on auto screen. You found it after all. Yep, here you go. He starts playing it. Awesome. It's a nice little touch. Any game that lets you party swap mid battle is good. I agree. I've always been very annoyed by video games that like lock you into the people that are in your party. Recognize this song? No. Oh, this is, um, Joshua, kind of. It's like, hmm. it's like his tune, sort of. Oh, wait, no, is that the song that Olivier sings? Yeah, yeah, okay, Ollie sings it. Yeah, 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 the Amber Amour. Okay. Yeah. I got there, I got there eventually. Alright, which one is... Story event, but which one is it? All right, journalist needs assistance with the tourism piece. Okay. Good boys don't want to get in trouble. Yeah, Coco's been laid out with a stomach bun for like a stomach bug for like a couple days now. It's pretty wild. We're here to follow up on a request someone made of us. Think we need to call the man who made this request to meet you? Yes, please. Understood. Please take a seat and we'll do so. Guy. I almost didn't recognize him because of his super generic face. And super generic character design, and super boring story of I was taking photos someplace, and you found me, and I wasn't in trouble or anything, I was just taking photos, and then we went back to the village and someone had driven a truck kind of into like a fence, and the truck was kind of sort of broken, and then we went and talked to a guy and Turned out he was like the Reinford Company founder and he fixed the truck. Man, what times. What times we had. Yeah, he's known he's known Niall and Dorothy, that is for sure. Yeah, even though the, the it did make the jump to 3D, the hand-drawn portraits were important, and not only that. But the um, the side characters had a lot more personality. Like, Niall and Dorothy had way more going on than this guy, and I haven't really run into too many side characters that are outside of, like, major plot drivers who are all that interesting. Like, all of the major plot drivers and all the major, major and even minor storyline characters are interesting, but the sideline NPCs just, they just, they, 
They didn't spend any expense on that. I'm hardly an export, but I know what I'm doing. Should is gonna be like on Reen's tombstone. How has that been established already that Reen knows how to take pictures? As far as I know, they don't go back to the. They don't go back to portraits CS3 either. I'm just saying I miss the portraits. They're nice. I do miss the portraits too. Portraits were nice. We wouldn't get Estelle's amazing faces without them. Exactly. Yeah, I kind of de-animate the game a little bit. To, taking the hand-drawn portraits out to use the models means that they're no longer a hint of who could be a traitor or anything anymore. Wait a minute. How could you tell if someone was going to be a traitor from their portraits? Uh, wait, what? There's no longer a hint of who could be a traitor? How did the portraits help with that? Or are you talking about, like, pulling art assets out of the game or something? Or is it because if they gave, like, a seemingly random NPC a face portrait, then you knew that they were going to be a major character? Uh, oh, that's right, okay. Yeah, if they had a portrait, it meant they were more important. All right, so I have to stop at literally every store and talk to a guy and take a picture. I will admit that that's that's what helped me figure out uh, uh, the Angel of Slaughter, that Ren, Ren, there you go. That, that's what helped me figure out Ren, is I, a little girl with a portrait and she had like an overly cute face with her two parents and I'm like, She's evil. I know she's evil. Yeah, it, it does feel way more expressive, though. Like, the, the, the facial expressions, like, Estelle shows more attitude and personality in her portraits than most of these characters can manage just, you know, through text and just standing there robotically, you know? Wait, who's Alba? Are you guys spoiling shit for me right now? Wait, is there someone I didn't get in here? Oh, maybe. Maybe there's someone up here. Yeah, there we go. Oh, Alba's Wiseman? I didn't know they called him Alba. Oh, right, in first chapter. Honestly, Wiseman was a complete mystery to me. Like, I thought it was weird that that this guy, that this Alba guy kept, we kept bumping into him, but, um... My PS4 won't boot up after the power outage? Uh, uh-oh. Did you have it plugged into a surge protector by any chance? Normally, I'm I'm perfectly okay with like side quests, even there if they're a little tedious. But this is this is particularly tedious. Go talk to a bunch of NPCs and and take their picture. Okay. 
But you don't actually take their picture, you just click through the dialogue and eventually the picture just gets taken. Yeah, I sometimes wonder, like, just how much more personality and how much more expressive the game would be if all of these characters had portraits. Like, like even here, they seem... Like, look at how expressive Machias is here. Like, that's way more expressive than his normal just deadpan stare, you know? Although Fee looks about the same. Fee has one facial expression. Although she sometimes smiles, but that's a rumor. As a, as a uh, person getting into streaming, I will tell you that whenever there's bits of spoken dialogue, that that's nice. <laughs> That eases up on me a lot. Yeah, deadpan and sleepy. Yeah, exactly. Um, alright, I guess I'll go to a different part of the town now. I haven't been to the Garnier district yet. Yeah, this game's voice acting definitely helps. Um, I just wish it would have voice acting and portraits. Like, are portraits really that hard to do? Come on, man. Some portraits. Most of those portraits, you just draw the head, you just edit the face anyway. Right, Dinky? Yeah. Dinky knows. Wait, that's one of our quests. The Darhime. Alright. Oh my goodness. That's expensive. My goodness. Yeah, it's a taste thing, I think is what Coco's getting at. And I totally I totally get what he's saying because I'll be honest, like my tastes run about similarly, you know? I wouldn't mind uh I wouldn't mind the portraits coming back. I miss the portraits. Wait, did I get all the locations? Maybe I did. This is the please find my hat person. Or no, someone dropped their hat. Hey, maybe Fee really does want lemon gelato. Why y'all gotta hate on Fee just because she wants some lemon gelato? Let the girl have some lemon gelato, Jesus. Ah, thank you very much, King. I appreciate it. Thanks for the host, pal. 
At least Sen 3 finally looks like a modern game. I am excited for Sen 3, even though I probably won't see it for a year or two. Ost District, okay. Alright, so we'll uh, go talk to the pub owner. Yeah, I know, we were just there, buddy. Big and fancy. Hmm? Oh, hey, you guys. I am glad that I subbed out pretty much all of their costumes for the casual wear because the, the colors are just so much more variable. Alright, Cold Steel, I'll see you when you get back. Yeah, I played East Origin, um, and I wasn't too impressed. It was all right. Like, it was okay. It was a good action beat-em-up, kind of. Um, some fun boss fights, I guess. Um, did pretty well, and, uh, yeah, it was okay. I didn't like that the whole game took place in one location. It felt kind of cheap. Recognize this guy. And we didn't even give him any money. We suck. Beast is fun. Definitely doesn't have a story chops with Kaseki, but it doesn't try to either, so it's fine. Yeah, maybe I'll play East one of these days. One of the proper ones, not apparently some sort of weird prologue thing. Which is what I played. Alright, let's talk to this guy again. Do you think Machias calls that line of hair from his, his bunny trail? See, that's one of the reasons why I kind of don't want to take his bunny ears off is because of those puns, man. Intimidation. Oh, all right. That's it? That was the whole quest? Jesus. Jesus. All right, um... What's intimidation? Um, makes enemies on the field more likely to run from you. Ooh. Hello. Aw, oh, Floofy, that sucks. 
That is a bummer, Floof. I'm sorry to hear that. Actually, you know what? Let me take Intimidation off of you. I'll give you something that's maybe better. Um... HP and Strength up. HP and Strength up is good. Strength up and defense up, though. Yeah, we'll do that. And then we'll give, uh... Oh, no, we'll give... Who's got Luminous Array? It's worthless. We'll give you Intimidation. That's better. Um... And Fee will give... Detection, maybe? X crafts can blind enemies. That's actually pretty good. Um, move two is good. Evade two is good. But we can probably sub this out for evade one. Make him even more evadey. So we can get rid of this because we're already possibly blinding them. Um, what can we give you instead? Is there anything else that increase agility? That doesn't look like it. That's. Nah, so what else can I give her? She's got attack one. S strength and defense, heat wave. Put her stat down and CP plus five, I and mean, that could be handy. Plus it's strength up. Good. I mean, the, the quartz is definitely worth it, but ugh. Yeah, at least you finished Sen 3. Oh man, can you imagine if your PS4 got fried before you could have finished the game floof? Now that would have been bad. Alright, where's the next thing that I need to do here? Hats off. Oh, Aust District, okay. Yeah, you'd have been pissed. I imagine so. Oh man, that's a bummer. See, that's one of the reasons I don't get into console gaming, man. Those things are prone to just dying. Hey, Makis, need something for me? I do. Could you take a look at this hat? It doesn't fit on me, what with my bunny ears and all. Jim's wife. Who's Jim? Oh, it's, he was that guy I met at his house. Is this Jim's house? No, it's an old lady and some kid with a cat. So this other house must be Jim's. Yeah, actually, the one that's marked. The game kind of makes it easy for you, I suppose. Oh, the dude's not here. characters brought up a while ago, the big thing about this game is the students are the reoccurring cast members. Characters like Becky and Mint take the place of Niall and Dorothy. Now, that's a good point. The only unfortunate part about that is, is that Niall and Dorothy actually had, like, a role in the story, whereas the students all kind of have their own stories, but so far, their stories don't touch the main plot whatsoever. So it's not like a coerce, it's not a cohesive narrative, you know, it's not all woven together. It's not a big thick blanket that you can just wrap yourself up in where every event and everything is all kind of connected. At the moment, the game is very sectioned off. You go to the mission area, you do missions. 
and you go back to the school and you talk to the students. And then you do the, the Scooby-Doo adventures in the in the Haunted Mansion. And then you go back on another mission and pop, 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 And it's all very... Everything's in its own little slot. It's very organized, but it's also kind of, you know, sort of... It's not as homogenous as it could be. Yeah, it's like FC. Remember, SC was the one that hammered everything together. It did, it did, although even as early as FC, like, the minor side characters were woven into the story. Like, you didn't go hang out with, um, Niall and Dorothy and just sort of do their stuff and then go on to do missions. Like, they were, they were characters who would show up over the course of the mission. Like, they were kind of tied up with the story in a way, so they, they kind of had a, it felt like they kind of had a place in the world. Um, in the overall narrative. This, it feels like you're just sort of... Like, touching base with characters. I don't know, it's weird. It's hard to explain. It's just not as, you know... It's not as joined. I would love some gelato. Thank you. Thank you. Ooh, we even got one lemon gelato for fee. Aw, that's nice. Yeah, I'm not. Look, I can only I can only give feedback about what I've experienced up until this point. If that changes, then my opinion will change. Like I'm open to having my opinion changed. I'm not married to my opinions. Uh, where's this next thing? Just the underground monster, right? Uh, Garnier District. Okay. The other student's impact is more subtle. Yeah, and you know me, I do real well with subtlety. I do super well with subtlety. Welcome to Darhimel. This you looking the your hotel looks exactly like the other hotel I was at at that other city whose name I've forgotten. I've done the other requests. I guess I haven't reported them back in. Or something. Um, okay. Ah, here we go. Never mind. That was awkward. That lunch looks nice, though. The food in this game always looks so nice. I'm gonna have to moot your stream to check a few things on YouTube for my PS4. I'll still be in chat. Okay, Floofy. Thanks for staying. Thanks for watching all the same. I appreciate it. Although, although what? Oh yeah, these two. Oh my god. Oh my god. You know what might help reconcile their differences is actually talking about it, because up until now everyone's just talked about it to each other, but they've never addressed it directly to them. I feel like that would solve a lot of the problems. What do you think, Dinky? Yeah, I think so too. Garnier District. Hmm. 
We have significant experience in monster extermination. Yes, we've heard all about the network passages. You have a dungeon underneath your hotel and there's a monster in it. We get it. crawling. Got it. I'm good at that sort of thing. Oh my. Hello. Oh, who is this? Lady Clotilde, is it time for you to depart? Yes, I'll be stepping out for a while. Clotilde? But more importantly, who do we have here? V V Vita Clotilde? Who? Whoa! I can't believe it! Opera singer. It's really her! She's definitely an opera I singer. I never thought I'd actually get the chance to meet her. Wait, who is this now? You three! Don't just stand there staring! You're in the presence of the legendary yep, opera I singer Vita Clotilde! I knew the it. Azure Diva herself! The Azure Diva, huh? Hmm, I do recall hearing that name at some point. I think I've heard of you. Wait, you know who she is? <laughs> I'm not surprised. Opera is a world unto itself. I expect there are multitudes who have never heard of me before. Ooh, get, like, yeah, that's, let's get this camera pan going. Oh my. Okay. I'm Vita Clotilde, an opera singer. I'd be delighted if you would come and hear me sing sometime. students are uniforms only two of us are wearing the uniform haha <laughs> that mean you've come to take care of the beast in the underground passage uh, if that's what they're calling it now yes I've got a beast in an underground passage for you Elliot and Machias are so funny here. Yeah, they're actually showing a bit more personality than they usually do. Thank you, incredibly designed character who stands out unbelievably amidst the rather drab rest of the city. <laughs> Wait a second. Hmm. That's interesting little aside. How could she be familiar? Ready to rock and roll. I'll try to match the rhythm of your breathing. Very romantic. But who's coming down here and lighting all these lamps? Good old Dinky do. Hey, you guys want to see what Dinky's been doing for the last, like, hour? I'll show you. He's been doing this. He's been sitting on his log. Exactly like this for about an hour, with his fat belly just sort of hanging out. 
His big fat belly just laying on that log. <laughs> yep, that's the last dinky. Wait, what's this? Uh, hmm, we will be waiting for the point where we crash it is. Blah, 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 blah. All right, here we go. Oh, these things. Oh, I remember these things. They look just as stupid here as they did in the last game. My treasure. Oh, he snuck up on us! Wait, enemy advantage? Why does the enemy have the advantage? How did that happen? What the hell? What the fuck is going on? Right. What the hell was that? Jesus. Shatter! Off guard! Gotcha! My turn. Leave it to me. How about this? Take this. I'll handle it. I'm still super salty about the fact that these things got like advantage on me. <laughs> for like no of reason. Course. Listen to my song of healing. You have my hands. My turn. And they just keep attacking Elliot. Leave it to me. Of course. My turn. Now. I'll back you up. Right. Is everybody okay? Because that ha! other one somehow ha! got to me first. Ha! The advantage is ours. Here we go. Uh. Yeah, there we go. All right, let's do this. Understood. Give it to me. Maybe if he didn't look so stupid, they wouldn't attack him. Way to blame the victim there, Toby. Leave it to me. Oh, I need to make a combat link as well. Nice. My turn. My turn. turn. My turn. It's my turn. I wonder whose turn it is. My turn. Hey. Here we go. Good stuff. That's that. Let's keep moving. Yeah, re Laza Flame redoing the. Oh, what a nice looks looking like the treasure PS4 chest. Might not be dead, but the HDCP signal seems to be reset. Which, oh, that's nice. Luminous glasses. I don't have a feeling that luminous glasses is a natural fit for Machias. Accuracy plus 50% and prevents blind. Um. Hmm. Yeah.
Now's our chance. We can do this. Go. All right, let's do this. Leave it, leave it to me. My turn. Good night. Right. Now, not a single one of them went to sleep. Right. Oh, you think you'd have better range with a shotgun? Ha! Of course. Hey! It's my turn. I get a free arts, so might as well see what Grand Press looks like. Huh. Wow. My turn. <laughs> that didn't do jack shit. That's that. Let's keep moving. Good thing it cost me nothing. I did it! Elliot isn't really an offensive mage. Nah, I didn't think he was. Not bad. <laughs> I did it! Actually, I kind of clicked through Reen's new thing. Uh, status. You got Gale. Attack, area large, seal 50%. Slices up enemies at high speed. Unbalanced plus 20%. Cool. I like the sound of that. Oh, this is a fat bat. Now's our chance. Let's get Why is he so fat? Why are they built like little balloons? Alright, let's do this! Gale. Leave it to me! Oh, getting into that eight leaves. My now? turn! Alright. Right. Hey. It's my turn. Here we go. Hmm. Right. My turn. Turn. My turn. Ha! Leave it to me. Ha! My turn. Ha! We should keep going. You should try Gil when his turn comes up again. And eventually becomes a CP regen move with the right courts. Hmm. Gale becomes CP regen? You don't say. Nice by treasure. Oh, there's another grand press. So Gale becomes CP regen, huh? Ha! Now's our chance! All right, let's Go. see. So he has 171. Second right. form, Gale! Now's our chance! Nice. I'll take you up. You're finished! Hm. Eh, 166, that's not bad. That's pretty good. My turn. It does CP regen based on damage. It's Reen's original Master Quartz. It, oh, and Gale does enough damage over multiple enemies to actually generate CP back more. I'll have to look into that then. Ta Leave it to me. Go! An opening! Go! Ha! Go! I'll take you up! You're finished! My turn! Oh, we did it! Alright, let's see.
killing enemies restores CP. That's what he had originally, was killing enemies restores CP. So you have to, like... Yeah, it's killing enemies that restore CP, though. But we'll throw force, we'll throw force back on there just in case. This would make a great training area. I envy the people who live around here. Only you would see an underground passage and think about training. Oh, level it up. Okay. My turn. All right, let's do this. Understood. Give it to me. Right. Good night. My turn. Nothing. Hey. It's my turn. Second form, Gale! Leave it to me. Of course. Hey! We should keep going. <laughs> I did it! Done. How do you... Is there a, like a way to, to specifically level up the Master Fort so you just get XP? You just kill monsters and you get XP and that's what does it. Now's our chance! We can do this! My turn! You are now a parishioner of the Church of Gale? Ah. Alright, let's do this! Understand! Yeah. Alright! Of course! Off guard! Gotcha! It's my turn! Now! An opening! My turn! Eh, whatever. Oh, we did it! Begin battle with gradual HP regen, recover max HP. Wow. That is good. Is the XP scaled? Falcom broke the Gale trick in Set 3 by making it extremely expensive. Oh, Alright. But it's now map targeted and does AT delay. I love anything that's map targeted. Oh, what a nice looking treasure chest. The advantage is ours! Go! All right, let's do this! Leave it to right. me! Right! My turn! Hey! Ah, uh, leave it to me! I didn't want her to kill it. My turn. Of course. Hey. You still have a lot of training to do. And forces, yeah, forces a long way from leveling up, unfortunately. Hit me with your best shot. Go! Go. All right, let's do this. Leave, it to, Leave it to me. It's my turn. Oh, he still doesn't have an S crap. Holy shit! The jackass. Now. 
Laura. Get him, guys. My turn. Listen to my song of feeling. Poor Elliot and Machia saying S Crafton. Elliot has an S Craft. Yeah, I bet he does. Right. Leave it to me. Terrifies enemies with an illusion of death. I'm blind, but I feel like I can die. Oh, I hit all three of them. Nice. My turn. Ow. This can't be happening. My turn. No shit, huh? Death blows are annoying as fuck. Ha. This is good. So of annoying. Course. To my song of feeling. Thanks, you have my hands. Right. I hate enemies with high speed. Hate them. Look at him right. giving himself turns. What an asshole. All right, let's keep moving. Three turns of strength up. Raises strength when HP is low. Alright, what do you do? I really wish it would tell you what it does without me having to go and look at it. Attacks and crafts can poison or petrify with a 10% chance. Okay. Um, are there any that are just doing poison or petrify or something? That would be better. I mean, maybe I can swap out the defense too for... Why can't I use it? That's weird. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why I can't use it on her, but whatever. Put that up. Put that on Machias? Oh, yeah, all right. Only one status effect per line. Oh, okay. Well, he can seal, cause speed down, poison, and petrify. I suppose I could use this slot to give him something else. 
Arts defense minus zero, I don't really care so much about, though. Seal or burn? Okay, I've already got... Oh, that's right, I've already got seal. In fact, let me swap out seal for the one that's seal or burn. There we go. And this one... Tax and crafts cause minus arts. Uh, tax and crafts can blind, but I've already got that. Tax and crafts can seal, I already got that. Maybe I should use hit. Instead of action, use hit so he just never misses. Does anyone have hit right now? Oh, I guess not. Oh well. Good enough for now. The advantage is ours! All right, let's do this. Leave it All heavy. right. <laughs> of course. Huh? Right. Exact. Now. An opening. <laughs> oh, we did it. Yeah, that that force is not leveling up very quickly at all. So I don't think I'll be able to get it in this dungeon. So I think yeah, maybe I can keep going for a little bit here. We'll see how much further there is to go down here. Oh, there's the exit. All right, so yeah, I can just r I can blast through this get to the exit, and um, and then we'll stop the stream there, because I have D&D &D later today, in about 15 minutes, and I will not be streaming it. Um, I've tried streaming it a couple times, but the group just doesn't... We're still so new at this and trying to learn, and there's so much sort of, like, time spent up trying to figure things out. There's a butterfly down here. Um, or maybe it's a moth, I don't know. So we decided we're not going to be streaming that one. I am going to be streaming Dungeons and Dragons, just not with this particular group. So we're going to. Uh... The advantage is ours. Well, I'm not going to repeat myself. Go. Y'all know what I'm talking about. All right, let's do this. Leave it, to me. it to me. Right. Listen to my song of healing. Thanks. You have my hands. Of course. It's my turn! Eat that! Here we go! Second form! Gale! Go! I'll pick you up! Right! So Gale's pretty good. Hey, look at we that. Keep going. A 5,000 raffle. That's a lot. That is a whole lot. <laughs> I've only just begun. <laughs> I did it! Oh, shit, fuck off. Hey, Targill won the 5,000 Guru Bucks. Well done, <laughs> buddy. The advantage is ours. Go! All right, let's do this! Understood. Leave it to me! <laughs> right! Huh? Leave it to me! Oh, she just straight up mercs huh. people. Right! Second form, Gale! Okay, it's safe for now. 
Man, Gale was goddamn amazing. I did it! An A-plus outcome. Done. Scud Ripper, faint 30, KO 30%, strikes enemies weak points. And it's on a line. That's pretty good. Church of Gale represent. <laughs> Now's our chance. My turn. All right, let's do this. I'll just yeah. leave it to me. My turn. Right. Huh. Right. Ta. <laughs> It's my turn. My turn. Okay, it's safe for now. Now's our chance. Let's get him. Boss is like he ain't coming back. Go. You were wrong. All right, let's do this. I'll just leave it to me. Right. It's my turn. My turn. Hey. Now. Got it. Leave it to me. Eat that. My turn. Hey! Yeah, being able to target down Evil enemies and kill them. Before my blade. First time you see Gale from another eight levels using Zero no Kaseki, it's a huge hype moment. So when he showed Reen using the preview game, the Japanese fan was like, oh. Yeah. Now start Which chance. is weird because in this game, he just kind of gets it. He's just like, oh, Go. I'll just start using Gale now. All right, let's do this. I'll just yeah. leave it to me. My turn. Right. Huh. Right. Ta. Huh. It's my turn. Huh. Soften him up Go. for my boy here. That's that. Let's keep moving. Should be able to do this in the time allotted. Now's our chance. We can do this. My turn. All right, let's do this. Leave it, Leave it to me. Right. Leave it to me. Eat that. Yeah, he's getting right. a stat down on every hit now. Hey. My turn. Here we go! That's that. Let's keep moving. Now's our chance! My turn! All right, let's do this! Leave it, yeah. to, leave it to me! Hmm. Let's go! Got him! You're finished! Nice. Right. Huh. High level My links, turn. baby. Ta. Except no substitutes. We should keep going. Ha. Now's our okay, chance. Let's get him. Here we go. Ooh, free art. Like, why wouldn't I use, like, a kick-ass art for free? Might as well. Boom. My dead turn. like that. Right. Huh? Off guard. Gotcha. It's my turn. Huh. Wow. Poison and care petrified. Them. So yeah, your Machias is a good candidate for his uh, status effects. 
And we made it. In good time, too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save. And exit the game. And take it over to Dinky Vision. Hello, Dinky. I think he was eating some of his salad while I wasn't paying attention. And take it back to the camera. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. So... Usually tomorrow would be Friday Night Sentinels, but this time it's not going to be. It's going to be wildcard. I'm meeting up with people after work, so I won't be streaming until probably later, closer to maybe 4.30, maybe even 5 o'clock. We will see, but I'm definitely going to be streaming, and it looks like it's going to be Warframe, um, which is a game that I, you know, has been out for a little while, but I know almost nothing about it. So it's pretty much a blind run. I may actually put blind in the uh, in the title of the stream because... Like, I barely know what I'm doing, and I don't understand anything about the story or the game. Or I've somehow managed to stay completely away from all Warframe lore of any kind, so I'm completely out of that world. So, I really like it. You run around, you shoot people, and that's a lot of fun. It's kind of flashy and glitzy. It's got good graphics, and um, I've been enjoying it so far. So, please tune in. And uh, it would be great if I could get some of my normal viewers to stop by and watch me shoot some guys sometimes. Um... And that'll be a good, good fun day for Friday. And then over the weekend, who knows? Um, I, I have installed like a Total War Shogun 2, which I want to play on stream because it's one of my favorite Total Wars. And I, you know, maybe want to get that going. So there's a bunch of stuff that we could be doing. But anyway, thank you very much for tuning in. Um, we will be back for more Kaseki uh, streaming on Monday afternoon, starting at four o'clock. And uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it to my... Twitch friends, I guess you could say, people who I know streaming on Twitch, and I can send you over to them and uh, give them a little bit of a hype host. I know random hosts, they uh, they always make somebody happy, and I'm always looking to push it forward. So feel free to say hello to the person that I host to, and then you can go off to do whatever it is you're going to do for the rest of the day. I appreciate it very much. Take care. Nice.